Hey everybody, welcome back to another weekend with us. What's up everyone? So today, this weekend, we are working on the Super C. It's due for an oil change. We've, so the first oil change, we used Shell. First one was what, at 5,000? Was it 5,000? 5,000, yes. Well, yeah, we, we've been trying to do it at 5,000. It's That's the recommended. Second change, we did Amsoil. Amsoil, mm -hmm. apparently it's really good and you can push it to 25, but yeah, we're, we're definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> Um, third oil change, we did go a little over 5,000. It's at 7,500. We drove it 7,500. Pushing 7,500. Yeah, so yes. pushing 7,500. So we'll check the dipstick and see how that looks and all that stuff. And what else? Yeah, and I think that's it. Today on our oil change, we're going to be using. So obviously it's not installed, but we're going to swap out the, the little bolt, the little nut bolt thing the under drain the bolt. drain bolt with this little thing. Mm -hmm. So this little thing has a switch. A lever? A little, a little lever. lever right a little drain lever. Oh, right here. That little lever. We should probably take it out of the bag. It'll be easier to see. <laughs> so it has a little drain lever. So for future oil changes, we can just pop the lever and drain the oil. I guess we gotta get this hose, but obviously that is gonna be for the next time, but we'll get that installed today. Mm -hmm. So right now what we got to do is we're going to take the oil cap off, get the dipstick out, just get, you know, any air because we're going to go down and drain it in a little bit. Other than that, thanks for joining us again this weekend. Um, welcome to another oil change. <laughs> thanks, guys. All right, let's get this oil cap off. Eey. Taking the oil cap off to get the air and then let's get the dipstick and let's see what it's looking like at almost 7,500 miles, right? Mm -hmm. Just keeps going. There's a long and We also got to take into account that like, this is fully loaded all the time. Oh, it's pretty black. Yeah, it's a it's a diesel truck. Oh, it's always like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, so you can't really tell. Let me see. It's not that bad. Well, it's not that bad. You actually still see it's pretty clean for yeah. 7,500 miles. All right. All right, cool. Let's I think like when we use the other oils, it looks like super black. All right, let's get this. All right, so that's off. So now we're gonna go underneath and get this thing drained. All right. All right. All right, let's go down. Ooh. Got a lot of cardboard down here. I couldn't find that black mat. So. Oh, I think it's in the garage. Uh, the car so mat. Oh, 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 hello, hello, oh. hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to over here, over here, sit. All right, now we are just going to take standard procedure. Uh, obviously, uh, they're, you know, Nothing's really gonna change with the steps. Okay. Other than Lexi just joining us. <laughs> oh. Let's just get in the, the oil gonna, drained. This is gonna shoot out pretty far. Uh, I gotta get back. Lexi, get back. Ready? Yeah, yeah. One, two, mess. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> man, that was mess. something's. Oh, I thought something was on. It was just the condensation underneath the car. I was like, oh shit, something went on my head. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is gonna be the last time we're gonna make this mess. Yeah. So, so that's with where that little that, new plug, right? Yeah, the benefit of that Fomodo plug. So a friend of ours says that a lot of commercial trucks use it because they do a lot of frequent oil changes. Yeah. So it makes it super convenient and very clean. So I figured, you know what? Let's give it a shot and see how it works out. Because if this works out well, let's, we're gonna probably most likely put on everything. <laughs> uh oh. oh watch out. Let's get out of here, girl. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, I know. All right, so we're just gonna wait for this to fully drain and we'll be back. Alrighty, so the oil is draining while that drains. We're just going to take a quick look at this part. What is this called again? It's a Fomodo. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
and it's made in Japan. Yes. But I mean, other than the brand, what what is this? A quick disc uh, lever? So like drain? basically, um, instead of unplugging your drain valve every time to drain the oil, so you just basically move this lever up and then you turn it and that check valve inside there lets the oil out so this is gonna this. so this is gonna stop all those bolts so you don't have to keep yeah, the wrench basically just... you don't have to um use a tool to drain your oil anymore okay so you don't have to use a little ratchet anymore so the only thing that we do need on the next oil change is a little yeah, uh, just a little hose, little hose right here and then uh we can actually drain it directly into say a container yeah well or a drip pan whatever right a container would be easier and then oh there, yeah that way we don't yeah. have to drain the and then oh, there yeah, we yeah, can yeah. stop it in the middle to switch the container out okay so i mean it's pretty cool let's yeah, so let's uh, see how test it out. let's see how that works so do the lever and then you can see that way i can see yeah so yeah keep it right you here can see it right you can there. see that little the valve closing in and out kind of and it feels angle. feels uh the quality feels really hey it's made in japan i mean <laughs> it's not china yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're going to check let's see how we're looking let's see is it still dripping still having a couple more drips we're going to wait a little longer clean it up and we do need to plug it so we're going to get that installed and then later take the filter out all right let's see how we're doing we're looking good it's at a slow drip do we got some blue towels to clean off the residue yes we do so we need to plug this in before getting the filter out. And we're going to be plugging it with the new drain valve. So can't wait till we do the, the our next oil change. <laughs> <laughs> right, that means to uh, we got to drive and use uh, do more trips. Yeah, we got to go out more. All right, so I already assembled it. One. So you do? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So you do need to torque this down to 18 foot pounds, but we don't have a torque wrench with that spec. So we're going to just, you know, hard tighten it with, you know, hands for now until hands. we can get our hands on one. And then we can definitely come back down here and tighten it. But look how this looks. Yeah. And then there, uh, the, so there's different types where, um, they have different valves. This oh, one okay. is a fully adjustable. So then that way you could like angle it any way you want oh, okay cool cool so we're probably gonna just leave i don't know but would it make sense being face down since it's the it's going down that lever or yeah where's the hole where would the hose be coming out of so the hose probably come out through here okay okay and then that hose so can... let's go ahead and hand tighten this so 18 i don't know how much 18 feels like but it says do not over tighten okay So uh, I think maybe we Because sh... ultimately it's draining down from that where, where you have it now. That's where it's going down, right? That's where the gravity is mm -hmm. flowing. So it looks really nice. Yeah, it does look nice. 18. And then there is a lock that you put on here also. Did it come with the package or you can yes, buy it? Yes, okay. it comes with, comes with the package. Okay, cool. So there's no like, in the event that we're on some crazy train, mm -hmm. I don't know, if a rock somehow manages to get in here and flips that switch, right. that would uh, be which good. I highly doubt, but you, you never know in the places that we go to. Yeah. So, cool. so that's easy. Wow, now that's mounted, it's a lot easier to, to switch out. So Yeah, so that lever, uh, it's pretty, pretty smooth. That's, that's the sound of an empty oil empty. pan. Let me see if I can... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah it's actually pretty easy. Not too bad. So Katie's going to be doing the next oil change on this one by yeah. herself. Yeah, definitely. I can and, try. And I'll be the cameraman. <laughs> uh, Alright, so next, filter. Let's, since we're down here, do we have a screwdriver or a flathead to get the oh, filter? Oh, that's right. All right yeah, yeah let me gonna... go grab it. All right, Kevin's got the flathead and we're gonna puncture that hole. Oh, oh. That, was that was a close one. 
And now we wait for the filter to drain out. <laughs> and we wait again. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, the filter is almost done draining. What we're gonna do now is just prep the new filter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, where do you go? We're gonna prep the new filter, get it. Here, just move it in here. Oh, cool. Get it primed. No, you gotta take. Oh no, it's still too. All right, we're gonna prep the new filter, get it primed a little bit with some oil, new oil, and then I'll, I'll go down there. We'll go down there together, get the old filter out and screw this one back on. Let me hold that. Oh, oh, I hear Whoa. a beetle, I hear a beetle. That oh. black, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on? There's a beetle flying around. That, those green beetles. That's okay. Well, I don't like it. It's right there, you see it, you see it? Ugh, okay. Anyways, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Right there, right there. Oh my god, oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's hanging out by the mosquito candle. The tiki torch? Yeah. The... <laughs> Jeez, man, I hate oh. bugs. Just, yeah, me too. That one's huge though. I hate like, spiders. Yo, that one's huge. Alrighty. Uh, oh, let's get some of this oil and put right over here. Make sure it has a good seal later. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'll, I'll get that while you get the old one out. I think the beetle just met its demise. It fell down and hit itself. I didn't do nothing, guys. It hit itself. All right, while it's crawling on its back, let's get back down here. Ooh. All right, so old filter, looks like it has Wonder. just a slow drip. Let's get the old filter out. Before we pour in the oil, we gotta make sure which way is open and closed. Oh, oh it dripped, oh, obviously uh, it right worked. There. All right, there you found out. <laughs> All right, let's get that, <laughs> let's get the filter off and finish this up. Okay. It's actually starting, the heat's starting to pick up. Right. Oh. You can do it. Yeah, again, we lost, we uh, broke our, we broke our, um, what is it, the filter wrench thing. But for the most part, this was hand tightened by you last time. So it was hand tightened by Kevin. So it's with his strength, unless. Uh, whoa, there's more. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. All right, let's just give that a couple of seconds, maybe a minute. There's a lot in there. Oh, yes. A drink? Okay, so it's a slow drip. We can definitely get this out now. Okay. Probably didn't puncture the hole big enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. New filter in and new drain valve in. Sweet. I like the look of that. Looks yeah, the cool. drain valve, yeah. So, just to test it out. Which we did a little earlier. Yeah, it's starting to, everything's settling down. So, yeah, we know it does work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can probably just drain it like that. But we're, we'll, on the next one, we'll get a hose. That way we can drain it into those other, the old gallon sized uh, oil cans that we have. And where's the, where's the lock? You said there's a lock for it? Where is it? Oh yeah, let's You wanna see. go grab that so we get that on? Yes. Let's do that. What, what is this? The, here, here it is, what is it? This is the lock, right? Yes. This little blue plastic so it's like a thing. little clip. 
Okay. I believe. Oh yeah, just oh, like a little safety. There you go. Oh wow, that's not too bad. Maybe put a zip tie on it or something. Yeah, I think that's good. Looks great. Hope it performs as well as it looks. Yeah. All right, cool. We are down, uh, done down here. Now it's time to put the new oil in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Clean up all this stuff down here and get up. All right, we got our drain or funnel thing ready to go. So this one is leftover from our 7.3 oil change. So what's left, what was left in this? Like uh, one five gallon? five liters. So five liters, almost a gallon and a half, I guess. Yeah, about a gallon and a, a half. A gallon and a half, okay. And then, but the whole bottle is two, point, two and a half gallons. Yes. So we have this one and a half and the other full two and a half. We're using both of it all? Uh, I believe so. Okay. Or we're, we're gonna just go accordingly. All right, cool. Ooh, look at that. Liquid gold. It's always nice to like pour fresh oil. And AMS oil, by the way, we like it so far. No issues, no complaints. When we did change, put this in the 7.3, the engine did sound a lot quieter. Yeah, it did actually. I, unless it's in our heads. Yeah. I don't know. It <laughs> you did. Guys let us know? <laughs> I don't know. It did sound a lot quieter, but we're liking it so far. No complaints. Because usually with the 7.3, it, it, it has like this ticking noise. And then later it just went away. Not like a ticking noise, but like. Uh, know, that ticking noise, noise might be something else. <laughs> the noise. Yeah. But yeah, no, it does sound a lot different. Um. I don't know. Let it let us know if we're tripping out or mm -hmm. if it legit. Maybe it's in our head. But <laughs> so. you know what? It works in our head. That's all matters, right? So we're just going to continue dumping the rest of this new one in and we'll wrap this up soon. All right, finishing up, let's put that oil cap back on because Kevin lost the first one, so we actually had to replace that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're going to just take a look at the dipstick and see where we're sitting. We ended up using the full two and a half and the, one, the other one and a half. So that was four gallons total, right? Yeah. And we're sitting pretty... I mean, it's a little, little above. But I think once we turn everything on, you can um, fill up the to, fuel filter. To start cycling. I mean, not the fuel filter. The, the oil, oil filter. filter more. It'll start cycling. Yeah, cycling everything, and we'll check it again. All right, cool. does it for our engine oil valve upgrade and oil change on the, our Super C this weekend. Thanks so much for joining us guys. Again, as a reminder, change your oil every 5,000 miles. Um, Don't be like us. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we pushed it, but it, all in all, it looked good. The engine's running right now for the oil to cycle. Uh, again, I don't know if it's in our heads. I mean, we had AMS oil, but it does sound quieter. Maybe with the fresh oil? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Comment below. Uh, we appreciate you guys every weekend. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you guys next weekend. Hey, see you guys. Hey, Bye. please like and subscribe. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye, guys.